as he's come for up there. Ben, what? Anything to Sue's, anything to the babies. I've burnt a lot. All right. Uh, you lost me. I just want to see Sue. <laughs> You're a hard face guest, aren't you, Ray? <laughs> Why? What am I saying? There's a garden full of ashes and dust out the back there. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that's Sue and you can tell her. Tell her what? Tell her that the old world knows now and they're all having a good laugh. All right. Uh, Terry, look, I've been ringing you. There's been no answer at all. Why? Couldn't you speak to her in work, eh? No, she's not been in work. That's a problem. That's your problem, you mean, don't you? You haven't got your secretary sitting there all cosy on the boss's knee, have you? Well, look, look, besides whatever the hell it is you're talking about, I'm talking about needing to know if I've got to get a temp in. I've come back from London. She's not even been near the office. She's not even phoned in. So if she's sick or something, just uh, just tell me and I'll get back to work. Well, why don't you ask her if you've got to get a temp in, eh? You got a temporary father in, didn't you, eh? What? Just long enough to keep your little secret boxed off. A temporary father, paying all the bills, working my ass out for that little guest. Didn't stop you going on your fancy trips, though, did it, eh? Hey, hey, she told me. She told me, you know. She told me that my little Danny... He isn't my little Danny, is he? She told you he was mine? What the hell was that for? That was for me, mate, all right? Well, whatever it is, it's between me and him, so you just keep out of it, all right? You tell him yourself, me, Terry. You tell him. You tell him he's your mate. You bloody not the one who kept coming around buying him presents, aren't you? Then? Because I wanted a kid of my own. You knew that. You're the one who put the smile back on her face, aren't you? Hey, listen. Listen to me. I came to see Daniel because Cheryl didn't want kids. I was jealous of you, for God's sake. I've never touched you in my life. I've never been near her. Well, somebody have, haven't you? Well, not me. Honest. Believe me. This is doing my head. Gentilly was mine, did she? I can't believe she did. She didn't, did she? Who did then, Terry? I just wanted a kid with Cheryl. That's all I wanted. I wanted a kid I could call my own. That's all I wanted. Who told you? Him? What's going on, eh? This isn't right, is it? I only wanted another baby because I loved him so much. If it stuck to what, I never would have found out, would I, eh? What she's done to me. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. And the worst thing is the baby, isn't it? He's not even a year old yet. But he knows me, you know. He doesn't know what love is. But he loves me. He's going to be sitting there, isn't he? Wondering where I am, why I've abandoned him. I come home now and there's no more little smiles for me, is there? No more little tears to wipe away. I come home and the house is empty. It's like being dead.